The most important thing anyone can ever do in their lives is give themselves over to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. But once that's done, I believe the most important thing for believers to do is to receive the mighty baptism of the Holy Spirit. I want to read to you a passage of Scripture from the book of Acts, chapter number 19, beginning in verse number 1. The Bible says, And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and he found certain disciples. And he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? What a fascinating question, especially for the modern American church. We just figured the moment we were saved, we had everything we ever needed from God. But that's not true. There's more to God than what we currently have and possess. If you read the book of Acts chapter 2, the Bible says they received the mighty baptism of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost and they were filled with the Spirit. And then in Acts chapter 4, the, some of the same people were filled again. One of the most important things Christians need to understand is you need to be filled with the Spirit and you need to be filled continually. And these were disciples. These were people who were saved, people who were born again. And Paul asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost, the baptism of the Holy Ghost? It's different than having the Holy Spirit live on the inside of you. When you're saved, you get the Holy Spirit, and He's there to lead you to heaven. But when you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, that comes on not just the inside, but that overflows onto the outside so that it's not only affecting you, but it begins to affect the world around you. He said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Sounds like some church people, doesn't it? And he said unto them, unto what then were you baptized? And they said, well, we were baptized unto John's baptism. These were Baptists. Praise God for Baptists. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him who should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, they spake with tongues and prophesied. You need the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said, if you ask your heavenly Father for bread, he will not give him or you a stone. In the same manner, if you ask him for the Holy Spirit, He's not going to give you a scorpion, a demon spirit, or something odd, or something strange. He's going to give you power to do what this book commands you to do. And that's really what we're talking about here today. You've given yourself to Jesus Christ. That's what it means to be saved. But if you want power to do what He's called you to do, you need the mighty baptism in the Holy Spirit. You need the ability to pray in the Holy Spirit. To pray in the Holy Spirit, what that means is very simply, is to yield your prayer life so wholly over to the Spirit of God that at times He's able to pray through you with Romans chapter 8 says, groanings that cannot be uttered. How do I do that, Pastor Allen? Well, you receive it by faith. That's how you do it. You receive the Holy Spirit by faith the same way you receive salvation. And we're going to pray a prayer together. And at the end of that prayer, you will be baptized in the Holy Ghost. But very important that you get this. The moment you receive that, He's going to begin to pray up through you in a language you don't understand. I remember when I was newly born again, I had never heard of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I had never heard of anything called tongues in my entire life. But some preacher stood up on a platform and said, if you want power to do what God is calling you to do, come down to the altar. And I was passionate. I just wanted to do what God called me to do. And I rushed to that altar and I got on my knees and I lifted my hands and I began to pray for power. And all of a sudden, that heavenly language began to bubble up out of me. I didn't understand it. I thought it was crazy. And I struggled with it for a long, long time. Is that God? Is that the devil? Is it me? Listen to me. First of all, it's not the devil. If you ask God for the Holy Spirit, He's not going to give you the devil. Well, Pastor Allen, I don't know if it's just me. Is it just my mind? Am I just coming up with those words? Listen, the only difference between praying in the Holy Spirit and praying gibberish is faith. That's the difference. Faith. So you're about to grab a hold of something by faith. 
You're going to repeat this prayer after me. And once we're done, I want you to lift your hands and begin to praise God. And He's going to release that power in you and through you. But remember this, you can't speak in two languages at the same time. You can't speak English and Italian at the same time. And you can't speak English and tongues at the same time. You can't speak two languages at the same time. Also, you cannot speak with your mouth closed. If you're waiting on God to come into your room, grab you by the tongue and wag it around in there to get you to pray in tongues forcibly, that's not probably going to happen. What you do is, is you just release it by faith. You'll sense it bubbling up in you and you just open your mouth and push those sounds out. And as you rely in the Lordship of Jesus Christ, you will be praying the perfect prayer for your situation. Are you ready? Let's pray this prayer together. Lift those hands up to heaven and say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now that you submerge my life in your Holy Spirit. Jesus, you are the baptizer, and I need your power to do what you've called me to do. Baptize me in the Holy Spirit right now with the evidence of it. I receive it by faith. Right now, I believe you are filling me because you said, ask and you shall receive. Well, I have asked for the Holy Spirit and right now I receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now keep those hands lifted, keep praising Him and let that heavenly language bubble up out of you. You are right now baptized in the Holy Spirit and your Christian life is about to change.